Welcome to another episode of the Your Longevity Blueprint podcast. Today, my guest is Ken Swartz, aka Ken the Scientist, who is the founder and chief science operator of C60 Purple Power, a health and wellness company committed to delivering the highest quality carbon C60 products available. Ken earned a master's of science degree from the University of Colorado at Denver and a bachelor's of science and economics from Arizona State University. He spent the early part of his career as a secondary school teacher, and he continues to be passionate about helping and educating people. He's run several research science laboratories over the course of his career and discovered C60 while developing the Moxie Fusion Reactor. During his research, he became aware of the powerful free radical neutralizing properties of C60. He first began using C60 as a radiation protectant while leading a fusion research project. He noticed after taking C60 for a couple of months that not only was it protecting him from radiation, but discovered that his health was also improving, so he continued taking it. About eight months after he started taking C60, he was on a routine visit with his optometrist and discovered that his dry macular degeneration was gone. His doctor was dumbfounded and told him that in all his years, he'd never seen such an improvement. So due to this healing experience, Ken decided to dedicate himself to the research, study, and production of C60 Buckminster Fullerness. Don't know if I said that right, but you can correct me <laughs> later. In 2016, he founded C60 Purple Powder, which offers Purple Power, I should say, which offers 99.99% pure subliminated carbon 60, never exposed to solvents, delivered in 100% certified organic oils made in the U.S. Ken believes that your health is your responsibility, and he's on a mission to help people feel empowered and take control of their health. I will read a disclaimer here. So these statements and products have not been approved uh, by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. And we do say that on the podcast uh, regardless. But a mouthful, quite the bio. You're going to break this down for our audience. So welcome to the show, Ken. Well, glad to be on. Well, let's go back to your story. That's very compelling. Super interesting as well. I'm sure your eye doctor was wondering what the heck you were doing. That <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, it's, yeah, I was just working on a project and it's a, a fusion reactor project. And a lot of the scientists who worked on it were like a late doctor this and a late doctor that, right? So I didn't want to become that or, you know, I'm also have a crew working for me. So I'm kind of responsible for their health. Yeah. So I go wandering around out there looking for uh, additional radiation protection because it's research, right? We really don't know what we're doing. <laughs> and, uh, and so I go out there and I discover this stuff called carbon 60. It's technically it's a Buckminster fullerene. And, uh, and whatever uh, that means. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so that's, so that's the, yeah. And then so Buckminster, you might know if you ever heard of Buckminster Fuller. I he was have. back in the 60s. He was in early 70s. He was like, uh, he made the geodesic domes. Okay. Which, you know, the, the kind of the C60 molecule looks like. Okay. So that's, and the guys that discovered C60 kind of, you know, he was, he was kind of like an icon in the 60s. So they named it after him. And, uh, and so I just, I, when I discovered, you know, I basically gave one set of rats C60, the other set of rats didn't. They hit him with a multiple fatal dose of radiation. Pretty much all the C60 rats live where the control rats immediately died. So I said, when I heard about that, I said, well, that's the stuff for us. And mm -hmm. so I went out and uh, I found a couple sources and we were taking it during the experiment. And, uh, and we were all successful. We're all still around. And, Thankfully, uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, what happened was uh, after about uh, seven months after taking, because after the experiment was over, I kept taking it because I got a little bit more energy, uh, maybe mental clarity. I just kind of felt better. Um, and I went into my eye doctor and my druze or dry macular degeneration mm -hmm. completely disappeared. Which my eye doctor had never ever had never seen before, but of course that well, didn't stop that because you know I'm a scientist and just one off is is just one thing. But in the meantime, right. my electrical engineer Gary Rodriguez, he had developed severe wet macular degeneration because he had had type two diabetes, mm -hmm. which you know Rodriguez mm -hmm. said it kind of goes with it. And uh, so I made a C60 in a coconut oil for him, and MCT coconut oil because I don't know if people ever heard of MCT medium chain triglycerides. They turn into ketones by your liver almost instantly. So they're like flex fuel for your body. So if yeah. you've got a diabetic, you know, or, you know, glucose processing issue, uh, having MCT oil is a, is a really good idea because ketones, you don't have, don't, it's, you don't have to have the glucose resistance problems. Ketones can be immediately taken by the cell as flex fuel. So anyway, that's why I did it in MCT for him. And after taking a tablespoon of that for a year, his wet macular degeneration completely disappeared. I mean, we used to be able to post his before and after pictures but some three letter agency says, no, no, that's making claims. So, uh, so yeah, it was pretty heinous. He had all these lesions on the inside of his eyeball and then they were completely gone. So he was happy with that because, you know, he was, he was going to be, uh, you know, he's an engineer and he couldn't be an engineer anymore if he can't see. Right. So like how long uh, did he take it? Like a year? He took it about a year. He took it okay. a year, a little over okay. a year. And so, yeah, and a lot of these things, it's, it's, C60 is not a magic pill. You know, it's, it's, it's a, uh, 
it's a selective antioxidant and kind of lifts the oxidative burden that your cells are under. So now your cells can heal themselves naturally. So that's what it does. So, you know, it's still your body healing yourself. It's not the C60. C60 just gives you that, lifts it off, gives you that, that space so that your health cells can work the way that they used to. And then you return to health. Awesome. Let's go that direction for a minute. So tell our listeners what oxidative stress is and kind of how oxidative stress impacts the aging process. Well, oxidative stress is basically your body rusting. You know, your joints kind of feel stiff. Yeah, you are like the tin man. You're literally, you know, it's that oxidative stress is happening there. And it's basically you have these little free radicals, oxygens or things with oxygen on them that usually have loose electrons and they go tearing into things. And what do they do? They can like rip holes in your cell membranes. So things leak out that shouldn't or things leak in that shouldn't. And obviously that causes more damage and it just leads to like an, an, a cascade of inflammation and, and mm -hmm. more oxidative damage. And then there's things like proteins. Proteins, they're like the little machines or gears and cogs in your cell. They do everything and they usually have to fold, right? And do different shapes. If you get an uh, oxide, can, oxid radical can cross-link them. So they can't fold the way they are. So they're basically become useless and you have to, they become junk and, they, and then you have to make new ones and clean them out. So that's, and then the other one, it can damage your DNA and RNA, mm -hmm. which is kind of like your blueprints of the cell. And uh, now if your blueprints of the cell are damaged when you got problems. So, so that's what oxidative stress does. And, and it just, and it tends to be cumulative. You know, over time, it kind of builds up and uh, a lot of like, it's one of the causes for telomeres shortening probably faster than they should be. It just causes all kinds of damage. And, uh, and but the big thing is, especially as you get older, have a little gray hair, uh, the natural antioxidants your body produces go down. And so that just kind of makes the problem worse. And, and that's why as you get older, you get all these kind of health problems because, you know, 50% or more of the health problems people are experiencing are due to oxidative stress. And we can actually measure that. I don't know if you've done that, but there are oh, certain yes. nutritional evaluations for listeners. If you've done a nutritional evaluation with us, we can measure oxidative stress. So of course, now I want to like take this product, have patients take yeah. it and retest and see, yeah. <laughs> see if that's reducing. But you, yeah. I'm, I'm drawn to your beard here because you were just talking about, um, well, and I, I hate putting you on the spot so we can always edit this out of, <laughs> and make you uncomfortable, but you're a little older than me, but you actually are not entirely gray. No, I'm 62 some, years old. Yeah, so you have some gray here, but you also have hair that's not gray. Oh, yeah. So do you I, dye I your hair? or? Well, people tell it's, me, because I don't really notice it, but actually I I am gray, less gray now than I was before from taking C60. And that's one of the things people I was hoping that's what you were going to say. Yeah, yeah that's what, yeah, a lot of people <laughs> that have like all white hair, they'll start coming back salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times people's eyebrows, that's the first thing, they'll turn dark. And then you got come back salt and pepper. And stuff. So that's that's one of the things because C60 lifts the oxidative burden, and it's actually the oxidation which is causing the hair to turn gray. So, you know, it's uh, and it does it does lots lots of other uh, great things. I guess I should probably talk about some of the health benefits that we know. Well, let's go to. <laughs> that's great. I'm happy that that was the answer. I was like, should I put you on the spot or not? Uh, but let's talk about mitochondria for a moment here. So, what role do mitochondria play in our health, and how does 60 carbon C60 or C60 play a role in mitochondria? Well, mitochondria are basically the key ingredient for health. They make ATP, the energy molecule of your cell. 95% plus of all the you know, energy, all the actions that are going on your cell are powered by the ATP produced by the mitochondria. So if you have a problem with your mitochondria, you, you can have problems with a whole lot of things. And mitochondria just don't make ATP. They make other things like pregnenolone, the precursor molecule for all the hormones. Mm -hmm. They make uh, the precursor molecules for uh, RNA and DNA synthesis. And in particular organs in the body, they make particular chemical substances. They're kind of like the, the basic factory in your cell. So they're turning out the energy, but they're also turning out like basic chemical units that are used to build all kinds of things in your cell. So they're kind of like a little workhouse and, uh, and, and powerhouse. And so when that doesn't work, uh, you have problems. And mitochondria have their own DNA. They used to actually be, you know, when the eukaryotic cell was created, you know, billions of years ago, they actually had their own... Uh, they have their own DNA and like there's actually 3000 genes which regulate mitochondria, but they're all found in our nuclear DNA. The main DNA, the mitochondria only have 37 genes. And so depending on like, for instance, in your horm in the cells that uh, make your hormones, the mitochondria are kind of shifted to make a lot of pregnenolone, the precursor co molecule for all your hormones, because obviously that's what you, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's what you're, you know, you're those cells are for. And, but other things, you know, in like the, 
and other cells, they have a different tissue types. The mitochondria produce different things, but they all produce that ATP, which is key to cellular metabolism. Awesome. Maybe we should define what C60 is. I mean, you mentioned a little bit of it earlier, but what exactly exactly is the C60 purple power? I, I, I also asked before we started recording today, why do you call it purple? Um, and I know you have a better demonstration than I, yeah, so I uh, guess take it away. Actually, it's, I don't know how you can see on this thing, but C60 dissolved in clear MCT coconut oil actually turns it a purple color. Pretty. And so we just, you know, kind of made a description. It's purple, it's powerful, purple power, C60 purple power. Sure. And uh, so that's kind of how that came about. Yeah, and C60 is just a little molecule, 60 carbon atom shaped like, a, actually like a little soccer ball. Okay. It's, it's less than a nanometer in size, 0.7 nanometers. So it's very... It's pretty small, but it's uh, one of the most powerful and selective antioxidants known. Now, it was discovered in 1985 by three guys named Harry Crota, Richard Smalley, and Robert Curl. And uh, they actually, it was solved a mystery in astronomy. It was actually one of the molecules floating between the stars. And, uh, and but, uh, but yeah, that, but they actually got in 1996, they got a Nobel Prize in chemistry, right? Because it's kind of unique uh, molecule and its chemical action is unique, which gives it its great antioxidant properties. And it wasn't really, it was really hard to make. It's still, C, high purity C60 is still more valuable by weight than gold. Wow. Okay, significantly more. So it's 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 very expensive and uh, to, to get. And one of the things, and finally they figured out new processes of making it. So they had enough to test. And like in one of the classic early studies, the Botry study, they actually increased the lifespan of test animals, the rats, by over 90%. And, uh, and also they did various tests because of the rats live so long, they did other tests. And they found like it prevented the damage, the damage to the livers from things like carbon tetrachloride. So you get one set of rats carbon tetrachloride, the other had C60 and gave them terms, no damage in the livers, whereas the rats that didn't have C60, just massive liver damage. So, and, wow. and that's because it's a, it basically gets rid of oxidative radicals. But the key thing about C60 is it, it, it's very selective. It only gets rid of superoxide. That's an oxygen with an extra electron. That's mm -hmm. If things wanted to rust, that's going to be the ultimate ruster, right? So and if then, patients have genetic SNPs for SOD, basically, this would be a very good fit for them. Yes, extremely. Yeah. This is okay. what you need. And, I have, and it, which I have. Yeah, <laughs> okay. And, and, and anyone, you know, if you get gray hair, yeah. that means you probably mm -hmm. need a little SOD pickup. And I SOD did. is actually, and SOD and catalase do the job of taking care of superoxide in the body and in the mitochondria. C60 does the job in one shot. So C60, usually the, what happens with the SOD, I'm getting a little sciencey on you. SOD, yeah, you take a superoxide with an extra electron and the SOD turns it, superoxide just between, turns it into hydrogen peroxide. Then catalase turns the hydrogen peroxide into water and an oxygen, right? Mm -hmm. C60 does the job in one shot and then it resets itself because kind of C60 is more sciencey on you. Most molecules that like to have a positive charge because oxidative radicals tend to be negatively charged and they'd like to be attracted to molecules that are positively charged. Well, unlike most molecules give like an electron up to the environment and that makes them positively charged. Mm -hmm. C60 actually pulls positive hydrogen ions from the environment and stores in its cage-like structure. You can see these little white things mm -hmm. on the inside there maybe. Sure. It's a little model. Sure. And, uh, and then it uses those hydrogen ions to neutralize it. So it kind of just takes the electron from superoxide, gives it to hydrogen ion, turns it into hydrogen gas, which is actually a great thing too. People that ever do hydrogen gas therapy in water, it's it's a really great thing as well. And when you do that with C60, it supercharges the whole process. And then, uh, and also the other is the second most damaging oxidative radical in the body is the hydroxyl. And that's basically a water molecule missing its proton. So it's got that loose electron, it goes around tearing things up. And that's that's especially created by radiation, which C60 neutralizes it. It just basically gives one of these hydrogen ions to the hydroxyl radical, turns it back to water, and then C60 resets itself. And the key thing is, mm. is that, uh, C60, that's all C60 does, those two oxidative radicals. It doesn't interfere. And in, the body has a lot of signaling molecules, which are actually oxidative radicals. Things like nitrogen oxides, that's a vasodilator. That makes your capillaries contract and uh, and expand. That's super critical for like blood pressure and everything. You don't want something that messes with that. And also it doesn't, uh, C60 doesn't interfere with hydrogen peroxide or any of the other body's signaling molecules, which, uh, which, which, you know, which are pretty key. So and that's why like C60, they, they discovered like they were taking given the rats like 0 0.1, 0 to 0 0.2%, 2 milligrams per kilogram of body weight, right? And they were getting like doubling the lifespan. They did it with mice. It, uh, the mice, it, uh, it like increased their lifespan, but completely prevented cognitive decline. So there's no cognitive decline or, or, and very little muscle decline during aging of mice. 
and mice live uh, much shorter too. That's why after the, the rats live like five and a half years, right? And the final few rats that were on C60, you know, after, even after the, all the control rats died and then the other rats died, they still, the C60 rats, they stopped giving the rats C60, but they still kept living. Wow. And then they were so long that a couple of the last rats had like terrible accidents. So, so oh. Could study. oh, well, but anyway, so, you know, the rat, it could have, they could have probably basic double lifespan of test animals because who knows how long they would live. But anyway, wow. so that's why they yeah. use mice and other experiments, but so that does things, you know, and I can talk about uh, other things, but uh, basically they took C60 and they did it. Uh, they did like one gram per kilogram of body weight, right? That's insane. That's like 10,000 times a health beneficial dose. And even at that level, C60 had no toxicity. Now, if you did that with vitamin E and vitamin C, you probably would have killed the rats, okay? But C60 didn't do that. And, and that's one of the things about C60 is, uh, is athletes love it because C60 is the only antioxidant known which taken actually increases athletic performance. They've done studies with vitamin E and vitamin C people taking them. And the problem is vitamin E and vitamin C also interfere with the body's signaling molecules. So if you take too much of them, your athletic performance goes down. But C60, so we have actually a lot of champions in uh, that were mid-pack and they took C60, usually along with MCT coconut oil, because those MCTs turn into the ketones, gives mm -hmm. you like an extra boost. Sure. And they've actually gone from mid-pack mid in their field to champions in their field. I won't say any names. But C60 is not banned by any athletic organization, by the way. So you can- Well, I want to know those names later, so you can tell me later. <laughs> but oh, okay. let me come back to, I want to kind of dumb down. I told you before we started the interview, you're way smarter than I, so I'm going to have to try to dumb this down. <laughs> and I'm new to C60 as well. I've seen the benefits. That's why I'm having you on the show. But I essentially wanted to ask what differentiates C60 from other standard antioxidants. And so what I think I heard you say was that it recycles itself. So it's not just yes. a one-time use yeah, can, yeah, sort of antioxidant. Itself. Reset or we okay. Not reset, reset itself. Reset so itself. You never have to do that. It doesn't yep. interfere with any of the body's signaling molecules, which okay. every other antioxidant basically does. Right. No and, toxicity. Uh, also, you said. Yeah, and it has no toxicity, and also it washes out in the body somewhere between four to ten days. So you can you can so, so like if you miss a day, it's not going to be a big deal. Okay. But uh, so so it doesn't accumulate in the body at all. So it's totally non toxic, and all of those uh, all of those things, and it just, because it's such a selective antioxidant. And, and, that, and that, don't stop taking your other antioxidants. Like there's the four big antioxidants your body has. You've got uh, CoQ10. Yep. You can supplement for that and you should. You've got glutathione. Mm -hmm. And C60 does the job of glutathione and taking care of the hydroxyl ion. But sure. glutathione has like dozen other jobs. So yep. you'll still want to take it. And, uh, and actually they've had some success now with glutathione. They have some liposomal glutathione like Quicksilver makes some and some other companies right. make some Weaker, that can yeah, actually yep. get past your digestive one. There's sublingual you know you put it under your tongue and there's some injectables but there is no sub there is no supplementation for sod or catalase and and c60 is an sod catalase mimic so it so it kind of fills that gap so don't sure. stop eating well don't stop taking those other supplements or nutrients this c60 is something to add to your to your health routine that just makes everything work better so it sounds too good to be true not gonna lie but when you say there's no toxicity <laughs> are there other side effects so I had heard that you shouldn't take this too late in the day because it yes. might energize you. And yes. I'm very sensitive to caffeine. I'd like, I can't even smell decaf or I get palpitations. Okay, then, like, then, yeah, then you <laughs> probably want to take it in the morning because it does have kind of energizing effect, kind of gets those mitochondria ramping up. But Which it doesn't is what we want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't give you jitters. Feel, it's like, I don't yeah, feel you don't have, at all. Yeah. yeah, you can take it, take it in the morning. A lot of people, we have like, in we have packets, little packets that's yep. uh, this is an MCT coconut oil, like one serving and you just like put it in your coffee for the paleo coffee people. That's kind of why we made an MCT. Sure. And all, also on October 9th, we finally released our gummies. I've tried them, they're good. I, I have the pack right oh. here, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, we have C60, yeah, the C60 gummies and uh, tart cherry for now. So that that is, uh, that's, yeah. But you have the problem with this, it's hard to eat just one. They're the really guy, good. It took us two years to make this, but the guy that we finally worked with a culinary guy that could, you know, which is also like a chemist culinary guy. So we made it. But so the problem is it's so tasty. You're tempted to eat more than one. So, so but it's really dosing, one or two though. is all yeah. you need to. Uh, and it's made with whole uh, coconut oil, not MCT. So it's got the whole coconut oil thing. Okay. I want to go there also because I want to talk about why your product, um, why you, I guess, create it with MCT, avocado, and then olive oil and kind of the differences. Yeah, so maybe definitely. let's just conquer I'll, I'll that Talk first. about the good things. Uh, I'll, let's talk. Yeah, I could do that. Would you like me to do that now? Or? Sure. Yeah, go for it. Okay. Yeah. And let, <laughs> let me tell you, like when C60 was small, 
you know, pretty much all the producers were good guys making a quality product for their customers, right? But then the CB C60 became popular and we got all of these fly-by-nighters. It's kind of like what happened in the CBD market. Mm -hmm. So there's probably, there's three things you should look for in, uh, in C60. First is purity. You want like 99.99 or 99.98% pure C60. And how would because, we know that? How would a consumer know that? Like looking at your bottle. Yeah, looking at, say, yeah you look at, looking oh, at it does say that. Okay. Ads, yeah, that's, yep. that's what you want to do. And, and the reason is because you want, that's the purest available on the market, but it also is related to kind of the way it's made. See, we may, we use sublimated C60 and sublimation, if you remember from high school chemistry class, nope. is the cousin of evaporation. <laughs> So okay. it's basically when a solid turns to a gas and then back okay. into a solid. Okay. So yeah. you take the C60 production, C60 and the carbon production ashes, because we make it actually make it the same way it's made in a giant red star. You get a you get a uh, atmosphere of about 10% helium, 10% the atmospheric pressure of Earth with helium. And then you have a two carbon rods in there, graphite, and they just hit them with electricity and they turn into to a powder. And if you do it right, about 10% of that powder turns to C60. Now you got to separate it from the other stuff. Now we use a sublimator. We basically put it in the sublimator, heat it up to 400 degrees Celsius. If the C60 turns to a gas, floats to the other side of the sublimator where it condenses. And that's how we get our 99.99% pure C60. Okay. Now, a lot of people out there on the market, they use methyl benzene, also known as toluene, which is a known, pretty toxic, uh, known carcinogen, carcinogen, yeah, yeah. carcinogen uh, solvent. And what they do is so they can, the C60 will dissolve in toluene and, or any other nonpolar substance. And then they basically take it and they, they boil the toluene off to get the C60 after they refine it. And they, um, but even no matter even how much you bake it, it's uh, you're always going to have a little bit of methyl benzene, which you really don't want to be taking because that's the kind of the reason you want to take C60 is avoid, you know, toxic materials, right? Sure. So you don't want to add that. And so, so that's why you want to look for sublimated stuff. And like, so, and if you look at like people out there selling 99.9% or 99.5%, .9 that's sublimated C60 and that other 0.5% or that other 0.1% is toluene mm. and, or methyl benzene. And so that's why you always look for sublimated C60. And we're not the only producer out there that has sublimated C60. There's a lot of them. So, so that's just the one. And then, and then okay. just, that's the number one thing, 99.9%, 9 98% 9 and uh, sublimation. The second one is the oils that you put in. And we picked kind of like there's the Goldilocks thing of oils. There's, there's oils that are like, uh, that are kind of like, we have all these seed oils, like canola oil and soybean oil and uh, sunflower oil and safflower oil. And we, you know, we talked about them. And those, these seed oils are really, really high in omega-6s, which our body really isn't meant to digest. We need like a one-to-one -one omega-6 to omega-3 ratio. And so that those oils are inflammatory. In fact, they're one of the main causes of disease and obesity in people today is these seed oils in our food. They fry the foods in these seed oils, right? They're everywhere. And so that's, you just don't want that. And then on the other side, there's good oils, like, you know, like fish oil and, and hemp seed oil and flaxseed oil. And these are really high in omega-3s and they're healthy for you. The only problem is omega-3 oils go rancid really quickly. Sure. So if we put it in a bottle and that's why, for instance, this is a little suggestion, never buy a fish oil or flaxseed oil or hemp seed oil off the shelf. Always buy them from your refrigerated section of your health food store, because you don't know how long that fish oil has been mm -hmm. on the shelf. Chances are it's rancid. And mm -hmm. so just buy it out of the refrigerated section, then you're okay. And so what, so we kind of picked the Goldilocks of oils, which is, of course, uh, olive oil. People have been using olive oil for thousands and thousands of years. It's, it's, it's nice and stable. Got a really good thing of omega-6s to omega-3s, so nice balance, like it's healthy oil. And all, all of our oils, by the way, are all organic too as well. And uh, yeah, also the other is avocado oil. Avocado is another great omega-3, omega-6 balance, really healthy, stable good for you. And it's a lot yeah. easier to digest. In fact, that's why, because when it, the first C60 products were out there that I was getting, right, everything was an olive oil because the scientists, you know, it's used it because it's, it's well characterized, it's available. But the problem is I have a sensitive digestive system. So let's say if I took an ounce of olive oil, I'd have to go visit the bathroom, right, after a while. So that wouldn't work. So I kind of devised, put it in avocado oil, which is much easier to digest than olive oil. And it's, uh, and it's uh, and it's kind of it doesn't have the bite of uh, olive oil that sometimes has. Some people like it, some people don't. So that's easy. And then of course we have it in MCT coconut oil, which mm -hmm. is that that's that's I made it for my friend Gary. But any athletes like MCT because you can take MCT and it's it's like an instant energy boost because your liver will turn turn into ketones instantly. Your cells will uptake those ketones. Bam, you got energy. And then C60 is the antioxidant also gets uptaken 
So you're just, you know, that just super, that just makes your athletic performance go up or if you got glucose processing issues. So that's a really good one. Oh, and of course, we also have potent. it now oh, yeah. oh, in <laughs> regular coconut oil, but that's sure. just the dummies. Sure. And um, you have a new flavor, which was delicious. The cinnamon. I tried that. That was, oh, yes. I love cinnamon, cinnamon. So that was delicious. Okay. Yeah. We have cinnamon and we also have orange and we have a peppermint. Those are the two those ounce, but we do have cinnamon in like eight ounce bottles. Sure. So. Sure. For the because people do like cinnamon for yeah. Now I, I may be saying this wrong, but which of those oils that you mentioned can you put most C60 into? Isn't one a little more potent than the other? Oh, the or? three oh no, avocado oil, olive oil, and whole coconut oil, they 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 go about the same. They okay. carry they, they're long chain triglycerides, 18, 16 chain triglycerides. And so you can get like you get your full max. MCT coconut oil has about half the C60 by by volume. Okay. As, uh, because it's got the medium chain triglycerides, so the little triglyceride chains are shorter, so they can hold less C60. Because sure. C60 kind of sticks to them in a Van der Waals bonding thing. So, so that's what? just. But you just take a little bit more. And but the, but the benefits of MCT coconut oil just is for those people that want it, go sure. for it. Yeah. Well, I want to get to benefits of C60, but um, let me come back to dosing for a second. So when I first got this at a conference, you know, I just saw providers essentially just taking a little. <laughs> yeah. Um, dropper full whatnot but the actual dose is a teaspoon right is that yeah, correct it depends on your age like for me okay. and my body and how weight, young can I... you start too oh yeah you can you can i probably start like half a teaspoon and work your way up see for, if you're let's say you're maybe 130 to 160 and you're in your 30s or 40s a teaspoon works fine but okay. in my case i'm i weigh about 170 and uh, also uh i'm a little bit older so for me, it's like about a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half. Wow. Okay. So you just kind of double up as you get the gray hairs, because as your body gets older, they less, produces less SOD, less catalase. And so you need to like up the amount of C60 you take. And we actually on our website, we have like a dose calculator that you can go there. Oh, perfect. But it's usually okay. just a teaspoon to a tablespoon and a uh, tablespoon goes for as you're older, or if you're working on a health issue, use a little bit more. How young do you start? I mean, have kids taken this product? Well, we obviously C60 is not approved by the Food and Drug Administration, so we certainly cannot uh, certainly cannot uh, recommend children taking C60. Uh, you know, that'd be their parents. We've had lots of really good benefits, you know, when especially in the athletic endeavors for kids to do athletic sure. endeavors. Well, let's go to benefits. Broke, like school yeah. records using C60, but yeah. uh, we can't we can't recommend that. And also, yeah. oh, two other indicators: there is no information about pregnant women. Sure uh in c60 there's no research so we just err on the side of caution sure. don't teach c60 when you're pregnant and also uh also blood thinners one of the things that c60 does because it re-stimulates mineral corticoid production in the adrenals because it makes the pregnenolone it can mm -hmm. often get rid of the underlying condition which causes blood to be quote thick that you're taking blood thinners for so if you take c60 mm -hmm. your blood can go back to normal but if you're taking blood thinners on top of that then your blood's too thin. So you need to talk with your doctor and get additional. Sure. Yeah, for listeners, uh, that doesn't mean you can't take it. Just you need to be supervised because of the dose of your blood. That exactly, are, exactly. Like, and to be reduced. Yeah. And to a certain level extent with uh, hormone supplementation. And I'll tell, uh, you know, and I'll tell uh, with like, for instance, this is, this is typical happen. We have a guy, he comes in to his doctor. He's got like testosterone levels of 320, right? So his doctor says that's too low. So it gives him creams. He's up to like seven, low 700s. Okay, then he comes and starts taking C60. Next time he goes into his doctor, his testosterone levels are 1,200. So his doctors take him off the creams. I've heard you say that. I'm excited to use this with some patients because we are a heavy hormone replacement therapy clinic, and I, I'm just eager to see the results. So that's yeah. exciting. Yeah. But the thing about C60, it restarts hormones in all the parts of the body. So like sure. in the pineal gland, you're going to get more melatonin. You'll sleep better. In the pituitary hypothalamus, You'll get like more human growth hormone and all the other master hormones which are produced there, yeah. actually, like here. Uh, and then like a lot of people, T3 and T4, they go up. Uh, a lot of we have a lot of women that either have reduced or got rid of completely their thyroid medication. That's amazing. But then again, the thyroid is kind of complicated because there's actually various hormones produced by your small intestine, which actually work with the, uh, you know, the it's it's a complicated thing which actually work with the thyroid thing. So I think they activate T3 to T4. It's, it's thyroid is complicated and then all the other things and, and various adrenals. But one of the things that side effects people have is a significant increase in virility, right? Or mm -hmm. uh, yeah. libido, I guess libido. Say. Yeah. libido. 
And yeah. so when you take C60, that's for men and women because it, it just increases all the hormones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the body decides, you know, body make the cells make the pregnenolone, and the body decides what's that pregnenolone is going to be turned into. Yeah, that's awesome. I want to go back to benefits, but I actually want to, I shouldn't say back, I want to stand benefits, but I actually want to go back to kind of what makes your product that standout product compared to other C60 on the market again? Because I want to make sure we drive in those three points. So you said that it's 99.99% C60. Pure, but it's pure. sublimated. And if it's so sublimated, no matter what it is, you want sublimated. Even if sublimated was like 99.9% .9 sublimated, it would still be good. Because the thing is, if, if it's sublimated C60, you know there's no methylbenzene toluene in there. That's how the key. Sublimated 99.99%. So a listener can look at the label and see that it's 99.99%, but how do they know that it's sublimated? Are you oh, saying we, because- We will have it on our labels. It's it's actually on our website. Okay. And all of our advertisements. And, and also by the way, on our things, we have uh, QR codes. Sure, yep. So you can actually scan that in on your phone and you can see we have certificates analysis for like our sure. oil source of oils. And then we do production. And then after production, we have uh, guys that uh, tested for microbiologics and C60 concentration. And, uh, and, and, uh, and then, so you can see before and after third-party testing. Sure. Sure. Uh, okay. And we, we did, we have, we have a great guy. We finally got to take, it's hard to do three, to test for C60, by the way, but we have with this guy, we worked with him and he now has like the, he is the master of C60 testing and he's going to copyright it and patent it. And so, yeah, he's the, so we have the testing awesome. of C60 because <laughs> the average sports team can't test for C60. So you want the 99.99%, you want the subliminated, if I said that correct. And then oh, yeah. think about the oils, right? The carrier oils. Yeah, the, yeah you whichever to... oil is best for you. And it's it's a lot of it's just taste. Do you like avocado? Do you like sure. olive oil? I mean, some people sure. just put it on the salad or use olive oil like a regular olive oil or okay. the coconut oil and like MCT coconut oil and their keto coffee in the morning. It's just all those different things. It's just kind of a choice there. Sure. And was there a third point that I missed? I was trying to take notes, but did I miss the third that differentiates your C60? Uh, it's it's the, it's the and, and we use all organic oils. Okay. Great. It's, it's the type of oil type, the sublimation. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. The three, the sublimated, the purity and the type of oil. And also, you know, we, uh, it's, and, and it's all organic. And, yep. uh, and so, and we, sure. the third party testing. So before awesome. and after, so you can be confident in what you're getting. And, and we're not the only one that does that, by the way, that in the C60 producer. There's g other good C60 producers out there, believe me. And we know, we most know each other when we work together. In fact, people could go to a site called whatisc60.org. Okay. And there's all the research there that uh, that is like the good, bad, and the ugly. And because uh, one of the things is only C60 dissolved as a single molecule is health effective. Particles of C60 have no health benefit and can be even inflammatory. So that's another thing. Because a lot of people, there's some guy out there, something with a blank wolf, who's selling like C60 uh, suspended in uh, in water, right? That's particles of C60. Your body cannot absorb those. And they'll just cause inflammation in your intestinal tract. Good it's, to know. It's, it's yeah. like not, yeah. So you have to have that, you have to kind of be careful on what you do that you want that individually dissolved molecules of C60 and uh, you know, and the three things I, I mentioned before, that's really is what you're looking for. Awesome. Thanks. Okay. Let's go on to, I know we keep kind of pulsing in some of these benefits, but can you list for us what benefits listeners likely would kind of see first and then what can happen with time like with the ongoing use? So the first seen? thing you're going to notice is you're going to increase, you're going to notice increased energy and mental clarity, like that brain fog goes away. And it also does some of the things you're, it's, it's also while well, you're not looking at it, it's creating a healthy immune response and a healthy inflammatory response. Okay. And uh, you'll, of course, you also know it's increased in the in libido. Libido, sure. Those things do, because it's lifting the oxidative stress so the cells can heal themselves. But another thing, like one of this did, they, and this is, this is, you know, C60 is a, it's kind of a new molecule they're discovering all the time. And like, and I'll, I can go over the human research with you. And like sure. the first use of C60 was with, uh, they put it in a cream. And, uh, and they found that C60 in this face cream, it was a face cream, significantly reduced uh, fine lines and wrinkles in Japanese women. So C60 applied topically does things. And other people have found that this research, like dark spots go, age spots and other things go away as well. well I found like- I see you have that now. I haven't tried this yet, but the C60- We, we have a face, you know, yeah. we have some face uh, other products, which will be coming out by the end of the year. And like, and you can tell that, like if you get a mosquito bite and it's itching, you can just put some C60 on it. And about 20 minutes later, the itching stops. Hmm. 
And then the second thing they did was also a topical application, and that was rubbing C60 on, you know, the scalp. And they found that C60 would increase hair growth. Yay, and I like hearing it, that. Okay. But it, but especially, but not, unfortunately, for men with male pattern baldness. Sure. It will slow down the progress of male pattern baldness, but because that's a genetic thing. Mm -hmm. It's actually for Northern Europeans because, you know, it's a, that's a vitamin D receptor. Right. That's that's what that was. But but like people that have hair loss for other reasons, mm -hmm. besides male pattern baldness, it like regrows their hair. So a lot of women have hair reduction, usually with thyroid problems. Yeah, that, that's noticed that. Now, is it because the thyroid problem is being fixed or because it's doing the follicles? We're not sure, mm -hmm. but it definitely does that. And then they use some of the in the vitro in the skin cells and uh, that they found that C60 would uh, would prevent damage from UV radiation. So this, the human skin cells, in the test tube you know, wouldn't get the damage from UV radiation where the, uh, where, you know, the controls got damaged. And they also found that it moderated the release of histamines from human mast cells. And, uh, and so that, then, then that, they took that to some animal studies and actually we see animals that got C60 didn't go into aphylactic shock like controls did when they had C60 because it kind of moderated mm. the, the immune response in an intelligent way. It's probably because Maybe the C60 makes the immune cells work better because now they're yeah. producing enough ATP in their mitochondria and everything else. They don't have an oxidative burden, so they don't they don't have like that super reaction. They have more of a, a balanced reaction. And part of that actually that they found out is uh, we discovered people what people are going to notice they're going to get their motivation back, and that has to do with dopamine production. And let's talk about inflammation, which C60 reduces. Now there's 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 acute inflammation. That's when you sprain your ankle, right? It swells up, it hurts, and uh, and and also, you know, so, so you don't want to walk on it, but also what that happens is when you have an inflammatory response, it suppresses the production of dopamine. Dopamine is the motivation molecule. It's the molecule that gets you out of bed in the morning, off the couch, right, to do stuff. And obviously, your body doesn't want you getting up and doing stuff while the ankle's all swollen up and damaged, so it suppresses dopamine production, and that's a perfectly natural and healthy response. Only problem is, is when... Uh, is when uh, you've got chronic inflammation from arthritis or gut issues or a dozen of other places. Well, well, then when that yet, well, that's then it's bad. It's, that's what people notice when they take C60. Like a lot of gut issues go away for people. And hydrogen gas water is also really good for gut, by the way. But C60 and hydrogen gas gut, that's super great. And C60 will get rid of a lot of that uh, the gut issues, gut inflammation because obviously it's taken orally, and and that really helps there. But like one of the ones was uh, they did a test with rabbits. And they they had they gave the rabbits arthritis. I know they're mean. And then they gave them C60. And not only did C60 get rid of the inflammation, what the arthritis did, it actually stimulated the growth of cartilage. So so the little was regrowing the the arth things. So when you take the C60, you get that dopamine that dopamine suppression from chronic inflammation goes down. Dopamine levels rack. So some people that take C60, like you know one of the chronic things, and they start taking C60, they get this insane desire to go clean the house. Or something. They go out and just like clean the house, and or they go back and do hobbies that they used to be, or they go start doing the exercise they used to be. Because once their dopamine's back, that mm -hmm. motivation molecule's there, then they go do the things that they used to like to do or been putting on hold. So, sure. so that kind of comes with it. That comes with that. And uh, and if you're on stem cell therapy, like we have, uh, uh, we have. Let me see if I got. Uh, oh, well, hiding out here but uh i mean basically we have a lot of people in the front range we're in the front range of colorado here mm -hmm. and we have a lot of stem cell therapy places i mean like a seven year old guys in his 70s he goes in you know gets a stem cell you know, pull out the stem cells of blood the doctors come racing in and said wow what are you doing this is the highest stem cell count we've ever seen and he's like you know higher than like 20 years old and he's in his 70s of wow. course he told him. 60. So we have a lot of people that use C60 with stem cell therapy. And part of that is C60 causes apoptosis of senescent cells. Because in like the, I guess, uh, in, in the animal studies, it completely printed the currents of cancers, which are like senescent cells. They go into the fermentation state. C60 turns back the mitochondria on senescent cells. They send messages to the nuclear DNA. They don't get the right messages back and they cause apoptosis which is programmed cell death, which is not inflammatory. Now your body, all these zombie cells are gone and your body needs new cells to replace them. That stimulates stem cells to produce new cells to replace the missing cells. And so uh, people that take like C60 for like five years, they have short, they have longer telomeres compared to what they were before. People that had before and after. So their telomeres got longer, but they didn't get longer because 
the telomeres in the cells got longer, it's because the senescent cells with very short telomeres kind of died out and sure. they replaced with, with baby new cells from stem cells, which have a full set, nearly a full set of telomeres. So average telomere length increased. So how long to kind of onset of benefit, would you say? Like, does well, it take it, for patients who? We recommend people go through like a whole bottle. Like uh, by, that's about a month, right? Uh, for the eight ounce and the, sure. the 16 ounce will get you about two months, two and a half sure. months. And so uh, you'll notice it after a month. A lot of people notice it in the first week. They'll get, uh, yeah. you'll get, you know, you'll get mental, the mental clarity and energy starts up. And then as time goes by, your cell, so remember C60 doesn't cure or prevent disease, anything. It just lifts the oxidative burden. And once that oxidative burden is, now the cell's proper metabolism can go and then the cells start healing themselves. Yeah. So you get some immediate thing, like the mitochondria go on, you got more ATP, that's your, en that's your energy, that's your mental clarity. You know, toward after a, a month, you know, you reduce the inflammation, you got the dopamine pathway kicks back in. And also a lot of proteins are being made correctly and aren't being damaged and so that they can actually, uh, you know, do the job they want. So general metabolism in the cell for various substances goes up and that allows, you know, you get that, you know, just a better feeling of wealth. So about a month, you'll definitely notice it. Some things, people, if you have a lot of mouth metal, mercury fillings, uh, you may notice in the first first couple of days, you'll get like a metallic taste in your mouth, in your mouth, because they found in science, in test tube studies that C60 will convert mercury hydroxide, which is biologically available and a bad thing mm -hmm. to mercury oxide, which your body can gra uh, grab also. And it also appears mm -hmm. to, C60 appears to dislodge inorganic mercury and uh, tantalium and perhaps even aluminum. It's kind of like hiding out in cells and then the body can grab it and get rid of it. So, because people Very that cool. take 60 for a long time have these insanely low levels of metals. And so like, I have no tantalium, which is like, because you know, most people do because of cell phones and other stuff in our modern environment. So, that's so awesome. uh, yeah, yeah. so that's another side effect. So if you got the mouth metal, you might have a couple of days of feeling metallic taste, but that's just the mercury flushing. And then you're, and, and because you're taking C60 in milligrams and the mercury and stuff is in micrograms, It'll knock it out and re-prevent deposition, so your body can actually grab it and get it and out. Excrete and, it, yeah. Yeah, and so that you you have that uh, that benefit too. So that's another benefit. It's not been, I mean, it's been proven in the test tube, but not sure. in test animal studies. Sure. They just haven't done those studies. Well, have you guys done? Obviously, you're probably on top of this, but it, my interest is definitely in hormone optimization. So I'm I'm just curious if you've had baseline cortisol and you know, thyroid and sex hormones, put patients on C60, 90 days and retested levels kind of to see improvement. Have you done much of that? We have uh, doctors, affiliates that work with us and they've been doing that and they've sure. been seeing it. Sure. Like some things you can have some tests that people can do themselves, like the aldehyde yeah. test, the urine aldehyde test. You can test before and then test afterwards and you can see the aldehyde level just drops dramatically when you're taking C60. So that's a test you can buy and, uh, yeah. and take. We don't have any recommendations on any personal aldehyde test but uh the ones that like you get the whole bottle and you can do a whole bunch of testing that's the ones we sure. recommend some yeah, of them sure. they just give you like two test bottles and that's kind of yeah well yeah i have some patients i want to try this on and i will be testing labs yeah I'll probably put my husband on this also and check his labs before and after he'll be a good <laughs> test subject but full disclaimer here when i started taking this product again i just grabbed one at a conference i'd seen it before i didn't know a lot about it but i've only been taking probably what is like a third of the dose you're recommending the teaspoon i was just taking the dropper full and i within about a week i i noticed benefit i we lost one of our he didn't pass away he just retired we lost one of our mds and so um my schedule was already packed and i had to absorb his patients right so another 20 30 percent it has been a very rough last quarter and i kind of look back thinking like, how did I get through? And the only two other things that I changed were I was doing acupuncture and I have been taking the C60. And so I think it's helped a lot. I, I do. And clearly I've been underdosing myself. So <laughs> once I take the full dose, we'll see. Well, you can Gummies. take it in the, the delicious gummy gummy. form. Yeah. Yes. And that's, so that's, yeah, that is it. But you got to be careful. You can take it. Yeah. I'm nervous. I want to overdo it and not be able to One sleep. gummy is, they just, just taste so good. You know, yeah. you've heard cases where the box disappears in a week, right? It's supposed to last for me. Well, tell listeners where they can find you, Ken, and your company. This has been great, but where can listeners learn more? Well, they can go to uh, shopc60.com. And it used to be purplepower.com, but uh, but that's but the, you can if you go to that thing, it still goes to us. But we kind of expanded it. Sure. And so, uh, so we can, uh, you know, we're going to offer all kinds of, we have new products like the gummies, like that. And we also have uh, 
one of our new products is C60 Sexy Edible Massage Oil. Oh, so that's cool. another product. And, so, <laughs> and we're also going to be on the C Shop C60 store. We're going to be offering other things. There's a, there's a diffuser that goes in the air. We don't, we're going to offer other people's products, C60 products. Because we're going to make ourselves a supermarket for, you know, C60 products yeah. of all times, not yeah. just ours. And then also, if you want to learn more about 60, C60, you want to go to whatisc60.org. Okay. And that's actually sponsored by <coughs> several uh, C60 companies that make a great product. So, and you'll see those in the advertiser. So there's, it's kind of like an industry group and that allows us to put the animal studies, the human studies, and there's like a little synopsis of what the whole study was. And so you get the good, like you'll see that here, molecular dissolved molecular C60 is, you know, great. Whereas particles C60, not so great. And we've actually have a few uh, pharmaceutical hit pieces on C60, but they can't do too much because actually pharmaceutical companies have discovered that they can attach they can attach uh, ligands to various medicines to the C60 molecule, and it'll go through the digestive tract. It's going to become a replacement for HCL. If you notice in modern your medicines, medicines it says HCL. Mm -hmm. well, in the future, that's going to be Buckminster Fullerins. And the mm -hmm. pharmaceutical industry has, has spent tens of millions of dollars in getting patents on C60 as a delivery mechanism. And not only that, it, it kind of improves the performance of their delivery drug. So. So they can't really go after us too much because they have so much in the patent. So they're kind of in a we're kind of in a safe space there. So they, they uh, so that's but that that you'll see pharmaceutical drugs soon will have C60 attached to it. Couple follow up questions real quick before we wrap up the show here. So you had mentioned um, C60 applied topically for hair loss, but taking it orally should also help. Hair oh loss, yes, it correct? does. Yeah, yeah. Okay. people that take but, C60 yeah. notice like great increase in hair and okay. nail growth. Nails come back faster and uh, and stronger. Yeah, that sure. definitely increase in nail growth, hair growth. Uh, so the, with notice. topical use, though, I mean, literally, they're applying this the same yeah. product that's ingested orally. Top. Okay, I just wanted to make sure it's safe. Okay. Oh yeah, and it, it will definitely. It, I think it actually, uh, if you try it topically as well as internally, it definitely you'll see noticeable changes in. Uh, we do. We used to have the uh, the C sixty test where you take like a picture, take a picture of your your face. And then and then apply C60 topically, and then uh, you can do the whole face. Then you take the camera picture and your own picture after a couple of weeks and take a look at it. You know, and you'll see the difference. Wow. A lot of fine lines and wrinkles go down. That's that's definitely applied. You know, internally it works good too, but topically and internally it, it really Even will better. Definitely. Okay. And we recommend we recommend doing like the olive oil or the avocado oil on that sure. because MCT coconut oil can sometimes clog pores. Yeah, that no, makes sense. So that's yep. that's just those those things. So you mentioned it's not safe because it hasn't been studied, right? And those who are pregnant, what about lactation? Because I think of, oh, I'm probably going to go there too. Okay. Uh, you know, we, we have no, you know, they've used it with young rats and they didn't have problems, but uh, we don't but know. We, we just don't know. have yeah. anything. And, and obviously we can't recommend for children, but uh, we, we do have reports of male, of adult Osbergers taking it. And they said, oh, wow, for the first time in my life, my social anxiety went away and I could likely be like a normal wow. person. And wow. we've had reports from yeah. parents who've given it to their children who have autism and Asperger's and stuff. And, and they say they've had improvements, but uh, but that's that's an adult guardian choice. Not, yep. not Absolutely. Not. Yep. Well, for our listeners too, I just want to make sure that we be sure to um, remind you, which I'll put those in the show notes as well, but there's a code. If you use IHHC for Integrative Health and Hormone Clinic, you'll get 10% off at the C60 website. So please be sure to use that as you try the product. And we also now carry it in store as well. So we have this on the shelves in the olive oil, avocado oil, and MCT oil. We haven't purchased the gummies yet. We'll have to get some of those on the shelf. Oh yeah, that's, we just <laughs> we do started doing that, but there, we, we do have them available. We do have those in um, the others in store as well. Yeah. So uh, Ken, tell us as we wrap up the show here, your absolute top longevity tip. Well, there's, well, there's two for a health tip, but the longevity tip, uh, one and also good health tip is intermittent fasting. I, you know, I used to be a little bit heavier than I am now. And I did the, you know, the various dieting things, you know, I did like the three whites, you know, flour, milk, Cut cheese, those out, you know, yeah. yeah, all those things. I did this, I did that. But and when I started intermittent fasting, uh, that was the only thing that ever really worked for me. And now I'm down to my high school weight, right? So okay. that is, and, and I feel great. Like a lot of time, my digestive times, and even think about it, you know, I didn't really understand that, but you know, if you look at the average person, they get up in the morning, maybe have breakfast at eight and, you know, they get up a lunch, they go home, maybe they have dinner like at seven, eight, you know, who knows? And then they're eating snacks like it's, you know, late at the watching television. 
Well, your digestive system is working like 16, 18 hours a day. If you work 16 or 18 hours a day, you would be exhausted and have a hard time, you know, performing. It's the same way with your digestive system. So when you do intermittent fasting, you know, your digestive system is working, you know, four, six, maybe eight hours a day. And the rest of the time it has time to like rest and recover. And like my digestive issues went away when I did intermittent fasting, you know, I lost the weight. I just had, uh, I just had more energy and just, yeah. So that's, that's my, uh, that's probably my number one uh, health recommendation from my own personal experience, because sure. I am not a medical doctor and I can't give really medical advice. Awesome. 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 Well, thank you so much for coming on the show here today and sharing the power of C60 and what impact it can have on our health and our hormones and longevity. So this was great. I love hearing new progressive um, topics that I can share. So this was wonderful. Thanks for coming on the show. Well, thank you for inviting me.